Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam Live. So today's a special day. We've got a live launch happening tonight at 7 p.m. So make sure you join us for that. Um, while we are here, sorry, we're really late setting up today as we got a few things going on. I'm just gonna uh, do this. That's perfect. Um, just want to say a big hello to everyone I met at the Wessex Magic Day on Sunday. If you haven't been before, it happens every two years and it's such a brilliant convention. It's a small convention, but boy, do they put on a lineup and they treat you like family. If you haven't been, make sure you check it out. It'll be on again in two years' time. Um, so hello to everyone I met there. Um, just want to say a few shout outs here as well. Uh, we've got Danny Rag joining us, we've got Explore the 50, uh, we've got Roy Smith, we've got Scott, Stephen, Ian, Darren, Kevin, uh, Paul, Walter, uh, Jason, Kieran. So, hello and welcome everyone. I'm just going to have a quick check to see if Wayne is joining us. Wayne, unfortunately, has got a power cut at the moment so he's not about but he might join us a little bit later and we have got Richard next door doing some wiring um, with the decorating of the outer studio so if we do vanish it's because he's shorted everything he said it shouldn't happen but who knows um, so without further ado let me introduce you to our guests that we have with us today uh, two very special guests uh, one of them is joining us for the live launch tonight. The other one has just cropped up, so we've just shoved him here in the live. <laughs> it's my good friends Martin Pierce and Loki. Hello, guys. Hello. <laughs> so how are you two? So, Martin, before we start, I'm going to speak to Loki because people know who you are, but we're going to get back to you. So, Loki, you've been a good friend of mine for a lot of years. Um, some people may not know you because even though you are a pro magician, you're not really one that's prominent in the magician circles. No, not, you don't. not since not since the Magic Circle Magician of the Year. I think that's the last time I did anything in front of magicians. And when was that? When did you win that? That was I won that. Scott won it the first year. I think I won it two thousand and two. Wow. I think yeah, I think it was two thousand and two. I'd have to look at the plaque. <laughs> And that was with your, um, with the, you called it the white face the act. The white face act, yeah. So you were very much like the Joker. Yes, You're yeah, I was, yeah, basically, yeah. A cross between the Joker and uh, Robert Smith from The Cure. It was kind of a, yeah, <laughs> a Tim Burton-esque <laughs> creation, yeah. So I think that's how most people remember me and know me. <coughs> and of course, I don't look any different now. Um, no. So <laughs> people in recent years might recognise you from Peninsula Fallus. Yes. You were there with one of your other characters because yeah. you are you're a great actor as well as a great magician and comedian. Yes. But you, oh, thank you. So kind. You do go into character really well, and your character you had on there was uh, Manuel Martinez. So yeah, Manuel Martinez was another character that I used that was created for a client, and then it became the the main source of my income really, and that's all I do. And sick, it, it, I'm sick of him. <laughs> That's, he's the character that you do more often than not now because you, you're uh, not your full time job because you do other stuff related to magic and yeah. everything else but your sort of main job now is cruising and it has been for uh, 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 biggest part of my life 35 years I've been involved in the cruise industry so yeah I'm a through and through performer I, I did a lot of corporate events product launches I've worked you know all over the world but yeah, cruising always pulls me back. I've done other bits and pieces, you know, on yeah. TV and stuff, and then, and then, yeah, mo mo most recently, I think the other, the other, I've sort of been introduced to a new generation of magicians through the agency, which the Ministry of Magic. Mm. Which that's a nice plug, wasn't it? It was, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't come to plug it. I only, I only come out to get some milk. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, the Ministry of Magic, yeah, it's dedicated the UK's 
pr premium dedicated magic agency and we specialize in sourcing magicians for predominantly the cruising industry but also corporate events so if anyone i mean i didn't know you were going to plug your own business on here so we'll talk about advertising rates in a minute. <laughs> but, so if anyone has an act just explain briefly right i've got an act i think i'm good enough for a cruise yeah what do i do what do you do? Well, first reach out. Yeah, reach out to me. The most, the predominant thing I need to see is the show reel. Yeah. It's all in the video, and it can't be what what the, the industry call a sizzle reel, yeah. which is what everybody does on Instagram. These slow motion videos of cards being thrown dramatically okay. across the camera and quotes coming up saying best magician ever amazing and you don't actually see the show you want to see yeah. real world performances you just want to see the show yeah so um, what sort of time is footage um i'm i'm happy to sit through uh, uh through a full show uh, obviously the show reel that will be submitted to the bookers tends to be they have an attention span of four to six minutes that's about it and if they don't like you in that that time you're frame gone. you're probably not going to get yeah considered but with the show reels, I cut them on myself. So if someone can send me a full show, I, I, I know how to cut it cool. and edit it to make it look, you know. We'll talk later. Oh, <laughs> and also, with, um, with working on a cruise, what do you need as a performer? So what do I need? One act? You, you two need two, two uh, the standard is two 45 minute shows, if, uh, which are suitable for a theater. And when I say a theater, I mean the thousand seater theater. So yeah. we're not talking close up necessarily. You can get away with some parlor magic, but really they want to see a stage show. Yeah. But that doesn't mean illusions and flying all around the place. Uh, yeah. my, own, my own act fits in a suitcase. Um, so I don't have huge props, but the act, from a performance point of view is much bigger and more theatrical yeah so that's what you need so 245 is the standard at uh, well, different shows when um bef just before lockdown hit um we were in talks this after just after bgt 4mg were about so we were in talks about getting them on the cruise ships and yep. you took us on to one of these ships to have a look around i did i took you on to p and iona I yeah think, yeah the theater was amazing yeah yeah absolutely amazing yeah the theaters are fully teched on ships i mean people sort of had that misconception that it's basically a ferry yeah but of course these theaters are have the same level of tech as West End West End yeah. so you can use in my own show I use the LED wall a lot more than I ever used to uh, I've even just recently this last sort of six months started using the cameras more and and having them zoom in for little reveals and wow. just it just creates more like um, like we're used to seeing on television you know, like on BGT. Yes, you know. yes. So, and that's what they want. It makes it look more modern. So, yeah, brilliant. I honestly didn't think what I, I don't know what I was expecting, but part of me thought it was going to be like the, you know, you've got the the ballroom, and they go, all right, get the chairs out. We've got a magician on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Move yeah. the chairs away. Yeah, yeah. Take the dinner plate away, madam. Yeah, show starting now. But no, it's, no, it's no, gorgeous. not at all. And Cruising's come a long way since those yeah, days. Yeah, and and. Even walking around and we were discussing things and I was going, oh, how about something like this? Yeah, don't worry, there's one of those over there. They've got one of those out back. Yeah. This is over there. That's yeah. literally, it, it's incredible. So if anyone is interested in looking at a career in cruising, get in touch with Loki um, because he'll be able to push you in the right direction. And not only, you know, giving you the advice, helping with the show reel, but obviously Loki's Got, we can say you've got an in with the entertainment. Yeah, and no, I've a very close relationship with all the most of the major cruise lines. Wow. Um, P and O is is one that I'm very closely related to. And in fact, I think I can say that it it was it was them that approached me with the idea of starting the agency. So yeah. I never set out to be an agent. I mean, I'm a performer. I'm a creative. But they asked me, uh, I think, remember the first phone call, I said, no, absolutely not, I've got no interest whatsoever. Then there was lockdown, and they phoned me again, and I said, yeah, no, it sounds great, um, let's do it. So yeah. so the agency was born, and I just hit the ground running, and it's really taken off in the Excellent. last, I didn't know that. This last and, year. And the <laughs> other thing is, obviously, you, you have got your grounding is in stage. 
yes magic yeah so yeah. You, you've got that eye for yeah i do the know. job that i'm kind of auditioning yeah. magicians to go and do so i've I'm, I'm definitely on both sides of the fence so it, i can help i can help them right from the start with you know what what material to take you know the do's and don'ts on cruise ships the politics of being on a cruise yeah. ship the the traveling to the cruise ship everything visas i've done it all so yeah, wow. there's nothing there's nothing i haven't come up against in cruising that I, I couldn't share with someone so that's, that's fantastic now we do have a lot of um, people that join us on the lives that are not from the UK can they still get in touch with you yeah I've got several magicians um, from Europe uh, and one I think one or two in the US now so yeah it's not just UK based We're always looking for good acts from all around the world because um, some of the ships you know they don't the UK isn't their home port anyway, so yeah. if you can get to an airport and fly, then you can join a ship. Yeah, brilliant. So yeah. That's fantastic. Right. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Loki to the oh. live. Thanks. And a yeah, well, that, that was cool was really that? interesting. Oh, oh thanks, that. Ma thanks Martin. Really yeah. And honestly, yeah. I, yeah, I really enjoyed I that. You just thought I was just some bloke. Well, I did actually, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought he was a painter. Yeah, I was there to do the, do the wiring. That's really interesting. As I say, I, I didn't know. My dad used to go on cruise ships, and we should swear by the P&O cruise ships. And uh, he said, your Martinez character, how funny and how great it was. I had no idea it was you when I walked in. No, we, no. We, well, I, 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 talk, like, I talk different in the show. Yeah, so. but the, the, the two just matched up, and yeah, yeah, he used to love it. So well done. Oh, that's yeah, not, yeah. That's, Amazing. Cool. <laughs> so a quick question for you, Loki. Yes. Um, if you're on the ship as Martinez, mm. do you break character when you're not on stage? Ah, uh, that is a good question. Good question. Uh, I tend to keep it going in in a loose way, not in a knobby way. I yeah. mean, I, I don't dress up in the suit and walk around going, hola, my friends. So, um, <laughs> but I kind of tone it down a little bit uh it's only because i do i know i'm going to do two nights and if if i tip off largely that it's all fake then yeah. i kind of lose something in yeah, the next 100%. show because it, it it really does rely on them believing a hundred percent that i'm a latino magician yeah so um yeah so i try to keep it up um but i'm not that precious about it if someone overhears me talking to a friend and they hear my british accent then um they sometimes don't really notice um or i can just say oh yeah no well i exaggerate it on stage but you know originally i'm from havana and they go oh fine you know just they just accept whatever i tell them you know. yeah brilliant yeah like all really magicians easy. we're so good at lying aren't we <laughs> Yeah. But it is, like you said, it's a, it's a weird thing because part of everything you're doing on stage is then buying into your character. So yeah. I, I know, you know, some of the things you say mm. is sort of misinterpreted because of your language, if yes. that makes sense. So yeah. it, I get away know, with murder. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so <laughs> the thing is, it, and part of the fun of that is they think you don't know. Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. realise yeah. you do know, then it's it's now all planned, and it's absolutely. Yeah. I can set a lot of things up in that way, and innuendos work really well because yeah, there's times when I can maybe not, you know, I pretend not to better understand the question or the language, and and I mix up. So yeah, all of that's thrown into the mix. Brilliant. Yeah. So yeah. And that take the now seems coach. like sort of improv rather than. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, there's a lot of ad living in my show. Yeah, yeah. a lot of people. Re I get a lot of return repeat uh, audience members because they come <coughs> to see the. Because there's a lot of interaction with the audience in my show, yeah. and of course that is largely unscripted, and you never quite know what you're going to get. So yeah. that's where the real comedy lies. No one remembers the tricks. Yeah. True. Like, yeah. Again, it's your personality. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. No, hundred percent. And one more question, and these are just questions for me, actually. Okay. Um, I'm going to mention the dreaded COVID. All right, yeah. Right? Yeah. Have things gone back to normal? So I remember, <coughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure it was you I was speaking Apart from this new and persistent cough, you mean? Um, <laughs> I'll just well, put that here a bit. <laughs> I'm sure it was you that was, I was speaking to that during or just after COVID yeah. was saying that you, 
you can't get cards selected. Yes. You can't even ask the audience to verbally join in. To, yeah, to yeah, verbally yeah. join in. So yeah. you now had to put an act together yeah. that didn't involve anyone. I was yeah, I couldn't get anyone on stage. I couldn't get any I couldn't hand anything out, I couldn't get a card picked. You couldn't do tossed out deck or anything like that. You couldn't you couldn't give anything to the audience. And yeah, you're right. You couldn't. Uh, you weren't really allowed to get, la allow them to audibly shout out anything. They just literally had to sit there, socially distanced, with masks, and you did a show. And at the time, when that was just in that period of what we call return to service, so it was just in the wake of of COVID. So they had all those restrictions, and it was the only way that the ships could operate, you know, right. for insurance purposes. And it was yeah, it was tough. Yeah, I mean, I uh, yeah, I had to change so much so much but the funny thing is when I did it now we've gone back to normal and it's all back to the way it used to be all the big routines that I consider my funniest most reliable routines that, that use the audience participation I haven't gone back in the show because no, I discovered okay. I quite liked it not, yeah. Yeah. not getting anyone on stage yeah. um, although I'm quite yeah, well I'm very good at audience management, having people on stage and, yeah. and making it fun. I, I quite like the that not that anxiety of coming out at the beginning. And, and I think Matt King was talking about it um, in Blackpool a couple of weeks ago because uh, I went to the talk, which was excellent, and because it was nice hearing another professional magician talk about the things that go through my mind. Mm, yeah. I come out and I'm, I'm doing the first trick and I'm going right she's going to be perfect for this he's going to do that you know that and that's what you do but you're sort of spotting yeah um, so it's quite nice not to have to do that but yeah they might go back in but I developed a whole load of new stuff which is yeah not and, and the thing is it's it was mostly a tad easier for you because you have got a background in stage silent Yes, yeah. Act. So you yeah, could, have worst come to worst, you could have done a magic show, even though yeah. that's not. No, you're, you're right. right now, no, but yeah. I've got a couple of little silent routines that are in the show, but you're right. Yeah, I think that helped me. It was easier for me to transition because I had those little bits of business and little like silent routines that I could adapt. Yeah. Um, and then the comedy, the comedy saved me because I'm predominantly a stand up comic. Yeah. So although. Most people know me as a magician in, in the cruise industry. They think of me as a comedian. So, yeah. who does magic as opposed to a magician who does yeah, 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 yeah. comedy? So. Yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah it works. Yeah. It's a living, isn't it? You yeah, know? brilliant. That's really interesting. Very really good. Um, right, let me. Oh no, I was just going to say this as well. Someone's just said, "Am I misremembering, or did Loki appear in a magic TV show?" series you did didn't yes you? I was, too. Un was it undercover I'm, magic? yeah undercover magic was the one with john archer mark paul max somerset uh um, yeah. kerry scorer who else was in it i um, couldn't pick up the names yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you weren't were you in my supply teacher as well was no you? i was in sorcerer's apprentice Oh, did, oh yeah, yeah, I did one of those, and then playing tricks was the other big playing tricks. Yeah, that was a that was a precursor to undercover magic, the right. hidden camera show. Yeah. So um, yeah, that was a long time ago though. It was. It was a few, few uh, years ago. It, yeah. it, it, it was probably twenty five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> scary, <laughs> isn't it? scary. He had only just watched a staple routine on Fallus at the weekend. Oh right, okay. Yeah, that's that's a that's a whole new episode for your Alakazam channel. That if you want to hear the real story about Fallis, <laughs> which I've not shared with many people, but well, it's uh, the same time this the week. <laughs> Fallis, we we have discussed this a full uh, a few times. Fallis, when it was over here, was brutal, mm. absolutely brutal. Uh, brutal. When you watch the American version, it's lovely, and even if you went up there and did dynamic coins that would go, we know what you did, but boy. Yeah, yeah. You know boy, it. Yeah, did yeah. you do it? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Over here, it was like ripping props apart. <laughs> and oh, well, I, I went through all of that, which you don't see on camera. Um, but yeah, 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 it was, it was not an overly pleasant experience, I no. can say. Not really, no, it wasn't. But um, television is, anybody who's worked in television knows that, you know, even the biggest show, BGT, that we're all familiar with, everyone has a preconception of how it is when you go on TV. You know, because I got 
loads of abuse after Fallus about, um, you know, why did you do it like this and why did you say that? And think, oh my God, is that, I don't make any of those decisions. No. You know, you're being told you know, what camera to look at, where to stand, yeah. how to hold the prop so it doesn't obscure your face. Um, and there's so much more going on in the, on the floor in the studio that you're not aware of behind when you're watching yeah. it on television. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, no, I came out of it all right in the end. It was okay. I mean, I got a good, a good um, showreel out of, out of it. But the, the experience on the day was, yeah, not, not what you would expect. Yeah. But yeah, it, it is. Maybe it I'll is. put it in my book. <laughs> it is really hard. I mean, I, I remember after the boys semi-final they said to us um the producers come in and said right we want more jokes for yeah. the boys we want them to have jokes so we wrote all these jokes went in there for the rehearsals and i went right well you're not saying that 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 that, that, yeah, yeah. that yeah yeah so they gave us about like a quarter of a script yeah and it's like they want you to make changes on on, on the fly you know yeah. i mean they're just throwing stuff at you you know suddenly you know it was my act you know like yeah. oh well, you can't do it like that well i've always done it like that. yeah but we don't want you to do it like that we would do it like this or something. Yeah. right okay don't hold <laughs> it in the right yeah. hand hold it in the left hand yeah but i can't do it yeah the, yeah but we need it in the left hand oh <laughs> god right okay so yeah Stressful. Yeah. Everyone, everyone sort of has this wish to be on TV, and it's. Yeah. One, I think once you experience it. Yeah. I mean, even this that I'm on now, you start complaining which side of the table I was sat on. You, know? <laughs> you sat over there. They you don't see any of this. All you've done is abuse me since I've you know, come He's in. He's good at that. Yeah. Once the cameras goes off, the smile drops. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. 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 Um, right. Let me have a look. What's going on here? I will tell you what. That's really interesting. Uh, it's all right. I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, I'm just going to double check, make sure no Wayne still hasn't logged in. So he ain't paid the bill, has he? No, his power's still down. <laughs> um, oh, right. Man. So I've got a couple of very short trailers to play. Uh, we're going to play one of them now, and then we'll be back and we'll speak to our good friend Martin. And Martin's actually got a couple of effects. He's going to be performing on Loki. So, uh, let's quickly pop off and have a look at one of these little trailers. World's cutest card trick, check this out. Now, we've got two decks of cards, really cute little cards, uh, a blue deck and a red deck. Which deck shall we target? What's the target deck? Blue. Blue, okay, that's the target deck. We'll come back to that after. Now we need a card to target, and because that's the target deck, we will get the card from this packet here. Now, these are little mini cards you may have seen these before let me grab them all out make sure they're all there uh now these are bicycle cards that you can see the back design on them it's a little mini deck they are so cute check that out mm -hmm. right but uh you are going to choose any card right so i'm going to start dealing the cards face down onto or face up onto the table should i say and whenever you feel the urge to stop just say stop stop right that was pretty quick do you want the ace do you want the four do you want to go a couple more the ace the ace of clubs are you sure yep okie okay, dokie right there we go so that is the target card. Now we need the target deck, and that is the blue deck, the one you chose. So keep that in shot the whole time as well. Here we go. Let me grab out the cards here, make sure they're all out. Perfect, none left in the box. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count down these cards and say the number out loud. I want you to remember the number that the ace of clubs falls at. Okay, okay. it's gonna be very important. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Still haven't seen it, right? No. Nope. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Still haven't seen it? No. Nope. What should be the last one, right? 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Still haven't seen it? No. Nope. Hang on. That's the last card, 51. And it wasn't in there? No. Now, you chose any card you wanted from the red deck. You could have carried on, right? Yep. You're not going to believe this. That ace of clubs you chose from the red deck was the card I needed to complete <gasps> my blue deck. What? Check that out. Now I've got 52 cards. We could do another card trick. That's got me worth a like on a follow. And that is unbelievable. How cute is that? Right, did that play all the way through? I presume it did. Um, 
Oh, it might have cut off early. I don't know, because I was too busy speaking to these two. <laughs> too busy for that piece of shit. We love it, yeah. <laughs> I was actually watching the trailer. No. <laughs> so, um, right, Martin, you are here because tonight we have got a live launch happening at 7 o'clock. Very excited, yeah. I've just performed it on Loki, actually. What did you think, Loki? The f That one you did with, yeah. the, with the book? Yeah, it was, it was amazing. I, yeah. Yeah, I've... I've I'll pay you later. <laughs> no, it was. I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea how, yeah. how you knew what you did. Yeah, so it's an exciting little book test. Uh, it's colourful. It's different from your usual book test. Uh, it fits in your pocket. As I say, it's, you're not revealing a word. You're revealing numbers, colours, uh, check amounts, people who won it, what they've done with the money. Lots and lots of exciting things. You can reveal as much as you want to or, for, or as little as you want to. But yeah, all will be revealed tonight about 7 o'clock. So please tune in. It'd be great to hear from you. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure you join us for that. And you have got a couple of tricks. A yes. couple of your classics you're going to perform Well, today. yes. Uh, uh, the reason for my book test with the lottery, I always said there's not many that exciting tricks about the lottery around. And uh, it reminded me of this one I did with, with a diary. I was, there's not that many exciting tricks with a diary, or they tend to have playing cards on them and things like that. So. Uh, Loki, can I use you? Is that okay? Yeah. Pleased to meet you, sir. You don't know me very well, no. but we're going to play a little game in a minute. Is that all right? Yeah. Because uh, I've got some great news. I'm going to Las Vegas. It's great for me, but not so great for you. Right. And uh, I'm going on my birthday. And the reason I'm going on my birthday, all the things I want to do in, in Las Vegas are happening on my birthday. So we're going to play like a little game. Is that all right? Yeah. So we've got a hotel here called the Bellagio Hotel, yeah. and we've got one called Caesar's Palace. You've probably heard of those. I have. Uh, one of these I want to stay in on my birthday, the other one not too fussed about. So when I turn around, uh, the one you think I like the most, could you pop it in the gold envelope? Yeah. Just put the flap down so I can't see it and just turn the other one over so I can't see which one you've chosen. Okay. Off you go, sir. So the hotel you think I'm going to stay in, just pop it in the gold envelope for me. That's it. And just put the other one to one side. Yep. Thank you very much. So, on my birthday, uh, I had two options. One was a helicopter flight over the Las Vegas Strip, or to go and see the Grand Canyon. So, again, the one you think I want to do the most, pop it in the envelope, and again, just put the other one to one side for me. Okay. It's making a lot of noise there. I know what you magicians are like. <laughs> uh, just put it next to put it. Put it on top of it. On top. Is, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm going to need to eat while I'm out in Las Vegas. Mm. So uh, we've got here uh, the Gordon Ramsay burger, which you can imagine is, is not under a tenner. Mm. Uh, yeah, quite an expensive one. Or do you think I'm more of the, the fast food greasy person? So when I turn around, do you think I'm going to go for the Gordon Ramsay expensive burger or the In N Out burger? It's all the cheap, greasy one. Off you go, sir. Okay. Same thing again. Same thing again. Happy? Yep. Right, the last thing is in the evening. We've got a choice of two concerts to see. Uh, one's called the Ultimate Variety Show, and one's called the Blue Man Group. But this time, I don't want you to see what you're going to put in the envelope. So could you turn them face down, mix them up under the table, Oh, okay. uh, put one over here and one in the envelope. So even you don't know what's in the envelope. Use your intuition. Okay. Happy? Yep. So you've made all the choices, you've considered my personality, and you've decided that those are things I'd like to do. Yes. There's a diary here. Have a look and turn to my birthday and see what's happening. Uh, and your birthday is? Oh, you didn't get me a card, did you? The 3rd oh. of March. It's the same every year. Very good. <laughs> third, of, third of March. So uh, if you turn to the third of March, um, there we go. Uh, yep. Could you March. read out what it says is happening on the third of March, please? It says that you will stay at the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. There we go. There's the Bellagio Hotel. Do you know I like to stay there? It's got a double lift. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the next slide? <laughs> um, Going to visit the Grand Canyon. Oh, you know me too well. You see, there's the Grand Canyon there. What's the next one, sir? You're going to eat at Gordon Ramsay's yes, restaurant. Yes, I do like a big, fat, juicy burger for the full house. And then you're going to watch the ultimate variety show. I love a variety show. Very much indeed. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>
Um, every page is completely different. They can totally examine the book. Yeah, I can confirm that every page <laughs> is completely different. <laughs> yeah, that so was such a good trick. It well, I was, uh, that came out probably about three or four years ago, yeah. and uh, I just love performing it as well. It gets I've, never I've never seen it. Yeah, it, it's good for parlour as well because you, you can actually throw all the props out. You can get four different people to make the choices. You come yeah. up and choose one. You come up and choose one. Do I look like the greasy food burger man? Or you know, there's lots of sort of jokes at you as well. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's called Vegas Choice. When it first came out, it, it was in, like, the bigger size. Yeah. Do you still do the bigger size, Peter? Yeah, it, what we don't at the moment. Yeah, um, it, I think it was, like, A4. No, I think probably A5. This is A6, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. But, yeah, it's a great little effect. To say. Well, it looks like one of those little travel books, to be honest, that you see at the airport. Yeah. That's, that's so a that, plan, that yeah. That size is probably more convincing. And, and the thing is, a lot of people always say, oh, can you do it in a bigger book for stage? Yeah. The size of the book is irrelevant. Exactly, because you can't see the text anyway. No, it makes no difference. Because they're, they're reading it and they're, they're confirming everything to you. So it doesn't yeah. matter. And you what can the pass the book along to other people. Yeah. yeah. And also, if I remember correctly, yes, we made it like a normal book so you could, on the inside cover, like useful contacts, uh, things to take away, the history oh, of Las Vegas. Yeah. yeah, right. So, so you can actually yeah. look like this is happening on my birthday, this is, you know. Yeah, no, I like it. No, no, I like it. I like the way it looks because you're right. It doesn't need to be big. No, no. it looks a bit more suspect. That that does look like a little travel book from the airport. Yeah. And it's um, such a it's such a fun routine and so easy to do. Clean oh, it's, it is super and super easy to do. Honestly, if if you can count, you can do it. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> and right. like Gary hasn't met Martin before and isn't aware of a lot of his material, but. Um, the, the material that Martin creates is always commercial, very simple in performance, direct, but the, the methods are just so clever. They're, they're very clever methods. Yeah, I, I, I like to think they sort of, you know, they fly. They're very easy to do, but they play quite big. And yeah. when people retract on it, they think, wow, that was impossible. But honestly, you will yeah, learn Vegas choice in probably about two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's great. Well, that's... Yeah, so. <laughs> you don't know me, You're going to do it to me, OK. No, yeah, honestly, you don't so. know me. Uh, <laughs> I know a lot of our um, customers as, as well. See, we bought out a lot of effects recently that, that revolve around Vegas. And a lot of people are starting to build Vegas themed yeah. acts, yeah, which, well, is, which is great. It's the gambling capital of the world. Yeah. And people are excited by Vegas, aren't well, they? If you're doing bank night with poker chips and yeah. money, roulette, that's um, it. And people, as soon yeah. as you mention things like money or Vegas, people are automatically just engaged yeah. with you. Because even if they yeah. haven't been there, they know what it is. They know what Vegas is about. You know, you've seen it in the film. So as soon as you mention it, people are interested. It, it's a, it's a um, really good premise. Vegas. Yeah, and when I've performed it, people come out, oh, we stayed there, or, you know, we ate there, and things like that. They do, you know, yeah. people do relate to it as well. So yeah, it's got 100%. Here. Right, we've got another little trailer to play, so we're going to play that. But before we do, David Hand put what was the name of the trick with the mini cards. That was on target. We set it both with the mini decks and poker size decks. Uh, it's by Sean Taylor. It's on our website. It's called On Target. So let's have a little look at this. I can't remember what the trailer is, but we'll have a look. We'll, we'll find out. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to show you the difference between being a gambler and being a magician. Now, as a magician, we hear this phrase all the time, I would hate to play cards with you. Now, a gambler has got certain skills. A magician has got different skills. I'm going to demonstrate both. And to make this easy to follow, we're going to use a bunch of red cards and we're going to use the highest black cards in the deck. And that is the 10, the jack, the queen, the king and the ace of spades. This hand is called a royal flush. This is actually the highest hand you could get in poker. Now a gambler, one of the skills a gambler has is what we call um, shuffle stacking. And that means they can actually get cards into posi uh, position with just one shuffle. And to demonstrate this, I'm gonna shuffle the cards half face up, half face down. And just with one shuffle like this, we should be able 
to get the Royal Flush straight into position. So let's say we were playing a five hand game of poker and the dealer's sitting here, I should have been able to shuffle just with that one shuffle, the ten of spades to come directly to me. But more than that, we should be able to get the jack, we should be able to get the queen, the king, and of course, the ace of spades to jump straight to me. Now that's how a gambler would do it. That takes years and years of practice. But the thing is, before you play cards, here's a little tip, before you play cards, you've always got to give the cards a cut to keep everything fair. Now watch carefully, I'm gonna show you how a magician has different skills. Because we're gonna place the royal flush now, but we're gonna place it in our opponent's hand. So we've each got one card. You're, everyone's gonna get a hand of five cards. And as a gambler, it would be your job to try and get these cards out of their hand, but it's actually impossible. But as a magician, maybe not so. So over here, we have the 10 of spades. So we have the 10 here. Over here, we have the jack. Over here, um, we have the queen. Over here, we have the king. Now, as a gambler in this position, you've lost. But as a magician, all you have to do is wave your hand over the cards and you see the 10 changes, the jack changes, the queen changes, the king changes. And over here in my hand, I've got the ace, I've got the king, I've got the queen, the jack and the 10 of spades. And that's why you're better off playing cards with a card cheat rather than a magician. Right, very so nice. nice. That was very Enjoyed that. That was like one of those bogus Britain traders adverts, <laughs> wasn't it? <laughs> Don't play with a magician. <laughs> so that is called Cheater's Dream. That's going to be on our website later on this week. Um, but that's my handling of it. If you purchase Cheater's Dream from Alex Sam, you'll get my handling, including a third optional phase which I created for it where the cards change in your spectators hands so um, check that out it'll be coming out on the website later on this week uh, someone else asked what was the trick Harry did with the small cards it's called on target by Sean Taylor it's on our website and we sell it both in mini bikes and regular poker um, size cards uh, da -da 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 -da. Um, so Philip Austin said, Gambler versus Magician is so good. I always love performing this, uh, but I thought I got it somewhere. This isn't the Gambler versus Magician plot. Um, that's a different trick using a regular deck. This is a trick by uh, Martin Lewis called Gambler's, uh, Cheater's Nightmare, I think it's called. Um, it's by Martin Lewis and the rights are now owned by Astor. So it's not an Alexan product by any means. Uh, we're stocking it, but I've created my own handling for it, which you just saw in the video there, and I've got a third phase. So if you purchase it from us, you'll get my handling, because um, there was one move in the original that I, I just, it, it didn't sit right with me, so I changed the move. Um, but you get my video with it when you purchase it from us. So that is Cheetah's Dream. So now we're gonna hand you over to Martin for another effect. Yes, again, this is one of my... I've, I've, oh, I'm gonna I was trying to, I was trying to move the cap when you moved it up. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm did that on purpose, didn't he? You see that? It just waited. Yeah. So yeah. can see what's going on here. Yeah, I was just telling Loki while I was watching the trailer there that, uh, <laughs> again, I create things because I think there's, uh, you know, we all, we all eat fast food, we all love fast food, and I don't think there's enough fast food tricks out there. So I come up with this one, it's called Food to a Fault. I know a lot of you have seen it, and I thank you for it, because I know a lot of people have purchased it. Uh, we've got some restaurants here, and would you imagine you're at a service station, Loki, is that right? Yep. Uh, the first one, we've got Subway. Have you ever had a Subway before? I haven't. Oh, there <coughs> we go. Uh, second one is uh, Domino's Pizza. Yeah, no. Yeah, Starbucks. Yes. You I had a coffee yeah, there. You've I heard have. of McDonald's, haven't you? I have heard of McDonald's. And uh, KFC. I've burnt many a tongue on their apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> KFC, yeah. Yeah, the roof of your mouth just goes through the roof. Oh, yeah. dear, that's uh, quite fatal. And I've got this gift voucher here. But at the moment, this is a food court, and you know where the restaurants are. Yep. So what I'm going to do now, 
I'm actually going to make it what is called a psychic food court. So you don't know where the restaurants are, and I'm just going to just move them around a little bit like that. Okay. And here I have a gift voucher. I want to place the gift voucher underneath any one of these cards for me, Loki. Anyone. Anyone you want to, yeah. but not that one. No, you can't really. Right. <laughs> uh, when I turn around, I'm going to give you six moves. And a move is just like moving from one restaurant to the next restaurant. Is that okay? okay. Obviously, you can't jump from one to the other because you're in a service station. You could be like superhuman or flip over there. So you just need to go like one, two, three, four, five, six, or whatever you want to okay. do. Okay. When I turn around, otherwise, it's not very impressive. Okay. All the choices are yours. Off you go, please, Loki. I have six moves. Six moves. Six moves. And I can sir. go le left and right. You can go left and right as many times as you want to. Okay. Uh, you're happy where you stopped on the card there? Yep. Now, if I'm right, I've got a feeling you're not on the either of the two end restaurants. Is that right? That's right. Could you just take them away and just push them up here for me? Is that okay? Okay. Uh, this time, I'm going to give you five moves. So do the same thing again uh, and just move your gift voucher five times. Okay. So obviously, you've landed on one of those three restaurants that are left. I have. The one you've landed on, could you do me a favour? Could you just pop it in the wallet for me? Okay. Thank you. And of the two ones left, uh, push any one of those forward for me and keep one for yourself. Yeah, you want me to have that one? Yep. So it's fair to say you've made all the decisions here. Mm. Something I haven't told you on the back of this gift card is some writing. And it says on here, why not order a takeaway from KFC or Subway? Do you remember the start, you removed two cards, you took them away. Mm. Well, that's the KFC and that's a Subway. Uh, keep me in your wallet and grab a Starbucks on the go. You put one restaurant in the wallet there, didn't you? I did. There's no money in there, I've got children. Right. <laughs> but there is something in there, and it, it is the Starbucks card. And if we read the bottom line, it says, why not grab yourself a Domino's pizza? Thank you very much. Right. And maybe treat uh, a friend to McDonald's. Well, you're my friend now. Have a Big Mac on me. Thank you very much. <laughs> you look puzzled. <laughs> No, I don't like Big Macs, but um, <laughs> that's, that's very good. So yeah. good. Thank that's you. good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Everyone can relate to these because... You can, the, the, and you can change the ending as well. So you can uh, say you wanted to have Subway and Domino's Pizza left or whatever you want to. You can actually change the ending and have a written prediction or whatever if you want to. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we, I don't think there's enough tricks of takeaway food out there. So yeah, this is food for thought. Uh, I know certain people really like it. I know Mr. Petty's son is a is is go to close up trick. So I'm yeah. really glad he likes that. Yeah, yeah. Likes it. yeah. Uh, that's one of his favourites. And you've yeah. got David Hand here, does it? Uh, yes. Gets great reactions. The other thing you get with this, which we haven't. Oh got yes, yet, I forgot to tell you that. Yeah, you get the same cards, but for your key ring. So you right. can literally carry this effect with you just on your. On pins. a mini version, so you could have like. They're like right, quarter that size, so you can literally take oh, off oh the like those little club cards, yes, yeah. Yeah. cards. Yeah. And yeah. also, if you can force McDonald's and spread them, out, have uh, Big Mac written on the back as well, just doing like a hot rod force. Yeah, so you can very like that. Just wondering, yeah, because I mean, you could, I mean, th you could do so much because you, you have barcodes on here as well. If they were like loyalty cards, yeah. and then you could do predictions with those numbers. Yeah, then, oh, uh, that's yeah. version oh. two. Yes, yeah. Look, look out for that coming. We've also got on the <laughs> gift voucher, we've got the 1089 on there as well. Ah, okay. Ah, you beat me to it. <laughs> I was going to claim the right so, for that. It's so good. I mean, people <laughs> love the, the free will principle, but this puts it on steroids. It yeah, really you, you're, getting, such you're getting hit, hit, and then like a, a big last hit as well, because they're making that final choice of like, yeah. you have your, and it's good to see David as well. I lectured at Hull uh, last year. Uh, David's a lovely man, and uh, yeah, he's got a wonderful society that he runs down there. So, hello, David. Good to see you. Is that him? No, that's you. Oh, <laughs> well, that's David, right? Okay. Yeah, that's David. Yes, yes. Oh. Hello, Dave. That's very good. Thank you. Yeah, and again, you'll learn that in like Minutes. no time at all. Okay. Yeah, you'll be performing that no time at all. But yeah, break it out in a restaurant or just carry it around in your wallet. It just sits in your wallet. Boom, you're ready to go. Now, I don't know if people can hear that. It sounds like a little disco going on in here. Yes, it's a painter man's getting excited. Yes. Yeah, Because we've got Richard outside <laughs> decorating <laughs> it with his radio on. Fortunately, so, uh, he's not into heavy metal, so I think we're okay yeah, for the moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. YouTube will probably take this down, though, because of licensing issues. Oh. Do you know what? I've had <laughs> so many times. We, we had, um, who were the two, the coding act? Um, oh, the boys. DNA. 
yeah, DNA, we had them in here just after the BGT, uh, yeah. the first one they did. So we got them straight on, introduced them, and went, right, before we get into the interview, let's play your audition. Played it. For the rest of for the rest of the hour, we're sitting here interviewing them, having a laugh like this. And Dave, who was presented with me, went, "We've only had two viewers on Facebook by this whole hour." And I think that's a bit odd. So literally, from five minutes in, as soon as we put the BGT trailer up, that's it. We got kicked off Facebook oh. and YouTube. So the two viewers were us monitoring it, <laughs> and DNA had it on there. Like, you so rule breaker, you. It, it happens so Oh, quick. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll be able to hear this. Oh, well, these people are still commenting. So yeah, we're still, still, we're still, we're still, still going. Make we're the still most of it, yeah. Right. <laughs> still live, thank God. Um, so, Martin. We're obviously, uh, we've got the live happening this afternoon. Yep. We're filming a journeys with you later. So yes. the people that are subscribed to Unlimited, they'll know what the journeys are. Um, so we've got one with Martin coming up. And if we have time today, Martin has kindly offered to film some exclusives for Alakazam Unlimited. Um, and if we haven't got time today, we we'll do we'll another day, yeah. It. In, in a few weeks time. Yeah, we'll get it sorted. Yeah, so um, that's some great news for Alexam Unlimited subscribers. And remember, if you are subscribed to Unlimited, this Friday evening, Good Friday at seven o'clock, we are going live in studio live uh, for a watch along of my new effects Cyclone. And at that time, it will be dropped onto Unlimited as well, so you'll have access to that. But join us for the... Uh, for the live because it's going to be a test in bed to make sure the equipment works the way we want it to work um, within Unlimited and we've got some really great plans for that as well so we'll we'll explain more and we'll tell you a few exciting things during that live watch along as well yeah. on Unlimited. Unlimited is amazing I think it's like a pound a week it's just like yeah. a ridiculous amount of material we get for like that money it's just yeah brilliant. It, yeah. It, it's incredible and it's just getting stronger every single week new stuff goes on it every week and it's yeah so cool um let me have a look here at some of the questions coming in uh, hopefully i forget <laughs> <laughs> no yeah are gonna be about these i guess Right, so loads of comments coming in, but it's usually people just saying how good your tricks are. Oh, thank you. Martin. Um, have you got another one for us? Or have you no, no. Uh, I, I brought the two in. As I say, this man was here. I didn't want to hog the line light. He's, he's, he's very entertaining. No, I'd rather, I'd rather see the magic. <laughs> he, he didn't even know he was coming on. No. That's true, actually. Yeah. I didn't. No, as I say, I'll come down in a few weeks' time. We'll film some Unlimited Live, and I'll come on the live. and more than happy to uh, entertain the guys. It'd be my Fantastic. pleasure. Fantastic. Okay, my pleasure. well, we've got one more performance to play as well today. So let's take a look at that right now. Um, coins? Uh, yeah, they, they are coins. I they mean, they are half dollars. They are half dollars. These are walking liberty half dollars. Do you want to just pop those on the table? I'm also going to give you uh, some of these. Hold your hand out. <coughs> there we go. Do you know what they are? No. Good answer. I'd be very worried if you knew what they are. They are actually what they call sky hooks. Now, most people have never seen a sky hook for obvious reasons. I mean, they're invisible. It means right? what you put up with a glass hammer. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, possibly. <laughs> 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 do you know? Do you know what they are really good at? Right. So when I was younger, right, one of the things that my my uncle used to do was the you know the old thing where they go, oh look, there's a coin behind your ear, right? And I always thought, is there a coin behind my ear? And it wasn't to do with that too. It was also it was to do with these. Excuse me. Bless you. Okay, it's my aftershave, right? I'm really sorry. Um, so and what these do is they actually stay up here in the air like that, right? Okay, we don't. Um, and they stay there in the air because they're designed that you can hang coins on them. So at any point, if you want to do the trick where you produce a coin behind your ear, you just have to wait for someone to be about the right sort of level and then you produce one. I'll show you what I mean, right? Uh, four solid coins, yeah? What you do is you take one of the coins, uh, we're going to take uh, one of the coins, uh, we give a little squeeze like this, and then what you can do is you can hang it up on one of the sky hooks. 
but obviously you can't just hang it there, right? You have to actually uh, make it invisible first. So you wait, you make it invisible, and then you hang it up there on, on, <laughs> yeah, on the air, right? So there's three, three coins, I'll, I'll do it again. You take the coin, you give it a little squeeze, and remember, you have to squeeze it, otherwise it doesn't become invisible, right? You take it, you give it a little squeeze, and you can hang it up there in the air. So now there's two, two, two coins. Look, I'll do it again, all right? You take the coin, you give it a little squeeze, and then you hang it up <laughs> there in the air. So now I know where each of the coins are apart from that one, because remember, we only had three, yeah? Um, if, I want to, if I want to take them down again, well, actually, you can keep hold of that. All I have to do is this. No. Right? And then I can <gasps> grab the coins down, uh, just like that. There's no way. Oh, and you've got to remember at the end to take each one of the sky hooks, all right? Because these aren't, these aren't cheap, all right? And remember to take them down at the end if you've not got coins hanging on them. Right? So now you know the secret, right? How do you feel about that then, honestly? I'm speechless. It's unbelievable. Emma's getting good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Emma loves a bit of magic. She really does. Um, so, sorry, one second. I am with you now. Uh, we've got one more little trailer to play, but before oh. that, um, have you guys got anything to say? Yeah, I say I'm really looking forward to. Uh, the, uh, the live launch tonight, very excited. If you haven't seen Lucky Numbers yet, I'll explain all about it later on. Uh, it's to say, it's a book test with a difference and it, it's quite exciting, it's quite colourful. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you're gonna love it. You're not revealing a word, you're revealing lots and lots of information. You can reveal as much as you want to or as little as you want to. Uh, done it at Blackpool, so if you've got to see me do it at Blackpool, you'll know, you know, it is a lovely, entertaining routine. Yeah. Uh, I've been performing at the lectures, and people, unfortunately, I haven't been able to set it at the lectures, because I've not had it. <laughs> it's, it's out tonight, and it, it's a bargain price. So book tests are usually three or four times what you're going to pay tonight. So, uh, yeah. yeah, tune in tonight, and uh, yeah, and the, great. Do you know the other thing that, that I love about it? I'm a big lover of book tests, so I've got quite a collection of them. And um, every time I read a description of a book test, it always says the same thing examinable. I look through the book and I go, mm. <laughs> <laughs> you start reading it, it's been yeah. written by a dodgy AI, you know, it's like all grammatically incorrect. And then every two pages you think, well, I've seen that word, I've yeah. seen that word. Oh, they're all the same. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> this one genuinely, no, I couldn't see anything in that one. Yeah. I did flick through it on purpose. Yeah. Oh, I want you to, really. Yeah, 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 I did. I know Martin, uh, Martin gave Wayne Goodman a copy at his day last year, I think. Yes, it, it was the Shindig Sunday, last November, yeah. yes. And um, Wayne said, oh, I've got it. But at that point, we hadn't filmed the instructions. So mm. I said, oh, the instructions will be out soon. And he went, oh, I'll work it out. And honestly, Wayne joins me here every week for the live. And I said to him, well, I said I weren't going to teach him because I didn't know how to do it anyway. Um, so I said he had to wait for the instructions. But he had it for three weeks and he said, I, I literally every day I'm looking at it, trying to work Try to decipher it, yeah. Well, that's what I was doing. I was counting the words, the letters. I was trying to find a pattern because you fired off the information quite quickly. Yeah. So. Well, I said I've got a little theory, which you said was, yeah, it's on the right track, but I still don't understand how that leads to all the revelations as yeah. quickly as it does. Yeah. Well, especially when you said there's no memory work. No, you've got to remember what to do. Yeah, so, you said, yeah, yeah, remember the process. Yeah, exactly. Once you've got that first bit of information, bingo. Yeah, yeah it's very good. It's very good. And even though you had that rough idea that's more from your magical knowledge rather yes. than anything that is in the book so yeah yeah of course i was yeah i was using yeah like yeah you're right the, the knowledge of being a magician to look yeah. for something but a lay person that uh, no if i couldn't find it then they've got no yeah. chance <laughs> every every page is different i mean join us tonight you are gonna love and the it. stories are genuine stories about people who won the lottery 
I say they've dug the garden up, buried their money, they bought bits of land on the moon, they've given it to a cat sanctuary, they've done crazy things, they're true stories, uh, they are adapted a little bit and the names changed a little bit for obvious reasons, yeah. but uh, yeah, they are true stories and you know, people do do funny things with it if they won the lottery and it does yeah. fry your mind and people that win it aren't sort of your everyday nine to five person, there's a story in there about a prisoner that won it and he built, he put an ATM machine in his house, he was so worried about people stealing his money, he just checked his balance every day to make sure no one had stolen his money, uh, it was all, yeah. all things like that. So and is that on sale tonight then, after the, you yeah. launch it and then you, it's up for sale? Yeah, it's up for sale during the live launch. Okay. So I'll buy them all. <laughs> <laughs> and then no one, no one will ever know how it's done. <laughs> um, so Ryan, yep, the shop is open this Saturday. We've got one of our open days. It's open from 10 o'clock till 2 o'clock. Uh, myself, Harry, uh, Wayne will be here. Uh, Jamie Dawes may even be here as well, filming some stuff for the vlog, so who knows. Uh, but pop along this Saturday and make a day of it. We're open from 10 till 2. Come and watch some magic and have a bit of a laugh. Um, a question for you, Martin, from Jason Staples. Are you going to Newmarket? Aha, uh -huh, yes. I have the pleasure, the very great pleasure of being the first ever lecturer at Newmarket. So, uh, yes, I think I'm lecturing between 11.45 and 12.45 is the process at the moment. So, yes, I should be going to Newmarket. I've got some new stuff as well, so you've seen my lectures before. There's going to be some exciting new stuff in there. I'll show Peter a couple of new ones today, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really good. Well, there's a, there's a couple that you showed, well, you showed me two this morning and two we bought the rights to, so, um, yeah looking forward to it you, you've always got great material and I, I said this to you before so when you think about a lecturer you are just the the perfect lecturer because you can watch the tricks and you can literally go away with them you know they're, they're usually easy to perform very commercial very entertaining very magical um and the the part is that they're just not, some of these things are so complicated, you go to a lecture, you walk out going, oh, I can't remember anything. Yeah. Whereas your stuff is so easy to do and it's yeah. so baffling as well. Yeah, I like to do a lecture and people get at least two, three, and hopefully all of it from yeah. it. So, uh, yeah. That's yeah, what but, you want from a lecture. I remember the, lect that's, the lectures were like that when I was growing up. You know, yeah. you used to go there and that's all you wanted. You wanted to come out of there with be able to do one of those tricks yes, like yeah. immediately yeah yeah and be sitting in the ruskin you know that night after you just bought it and go watch this and they go where did you get that oh from that bloke over there i'll go they're all gone <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, but yeah I, I will be at newmarket jason and it'd be great to see you if you're coming along brilliant um and you will have some of your wares for sale oh definitely yes as i say i, I'm, I don't lecture for like a dealer then i lecture if you like it, you're excited by it. The books will be there, and the, some of the stuff will be there as well. But yeah, yeah. brilliant. Um, right, we've got one more little trailer, and this is an effect. It's one of my favourite effects. Um, it's super simple to do. It's available on Unlimited, so you can get it now if you're a subscriber. And it's for me, it's simple to do. Beautiful free phases, gets a lot of magic out of really not much at all. Um, and it's called Don's Card Stab. Um, so let's take a look at this. One of the world's most dangerous card tricks, check this out. Now, we're going to use this a little bit later on, but before we start, don't look at the card that I'm going to show at the moment. But uh, dad behind the camera, when I deal cards and stuff like this, just say stop, okay? Mum, do not look. Stop. There, you sure? Do you want this one, this one? Uh, the one in your hand. This one? Yeah. Okay, right. Take a look at the card. Got it? Got it. Right, remember that card. Now, I'm going to give the cards a mix up like this, and Mum, you're going to try and find that card, despite not even knowing what it is, okay? So, now this time, again, when I deal cards on the table, just say stop, wherever you like. Stop. There, you sure? Yeah. How sure? 100% sure. Interesting. Okay, take a look at this card. Me? Yeah, take a look. What was your card? Seven of clubs. Was that the one? Bearing in mind, if you had got an extra card, it would have been a different card every time, right? Check it out, right? Different card. But you stopped exactly there. Now, I'm going to try and influence you. So the seven of clubs is the choice card, is the chosen card. Mm -hmm. So don't look. I'm going to spread the cards into three piles and try and make you choose the one with the seven on top. Okay, okay so I think 
All right, I... Okay. And let me just do this, just to throw you off that little bit extra. Okay, so whichever pile you want to go for, what you think the seven is on top of, go for it. Bearing in mind, I've already influenced you. Just lay it on top of whichever one you like. Are you sure? Yeah. Now, if you choose the one with the seven on top, you will not win, okay? Because I'm trying to influence you to pick that one. Okay. So you've got two and three chance. So okay. do you want to stick with that one or do you want to change? Oh, I have to choose the one without it on. Yeah, go for it. Bear in mind, it's a random choice. Lovely, okay. Now, I'm going to get rid of one of these two. Which one should I get rid of? That one. This one, you sure? Yeah. Let's take a look. Oh, you'd have stuck with that one. Oh. You would have been a winner, but you didn't. You chose to switch, so that is now gone. Out of these two, should I eliminate this one or this one? The choice is yours. He's let me down, so I'm going to say that one. Though. Okay, so let's have a look. If you'd have stuck with this one, mm -hmm. you would have been a winner. Oh. Get out of here, but I did, in fact, influence you, and that is why I checked this out. On top of this one, there you go. There is your seven. Look at that. And it well and truly is in there. Take a look. The only one of its kind, right? Now, last one. This is where it gets really dangerous. Okay, I'm going to wrap the deck up just like so. Here we go. Let me wrap it just like this. That's really strong, is that? That is really... One sheet does do plenty. Mum, take a hold of it. And you're going to put the blade through the cards anywhere you want in there. Will that work? Okay. Well, yeah, but be gentle because my fingers are there. But wherever you want. Go on. Bit of effort, will you? Right, and it's going to slip. Oh, what's she like? There you go. Right, you happy? Yeah. Do you want to move it or are you happy exactly there? I'm happy. Okay, right. Check this out. You will not believe this. Let me just cut along where you put it in. Here we go. I'm not moving its place. I'm just going along like this. Here we go. Check this out. Now, you could have placed it anywhere. At the start, Dad, you chose a card, correct? Yep. Yep. You will not believe this. Look, if I open it up just like this, it falls next to one card. Have a look. Look, right here, one card, only one card. Your what? seven of clubs. Get out of here. I'm sorry. That's got to be worth a like on a follow. That is unbelievable. You've done all of that. What a good routine, guys. You can learn that for $4.99 on only on Alex Am Unlimited. How good is that? Don's card stab by Tom Tom Peterson. Isn't it good? I love. Let me have a look at that book. <laughs> right. So that is uh, Don's card stab, and that's available <laughs> exclusive. Oh well, not exclusively. You could actually buy the behind the curtain download if you wanted, but it's available now on unlimited. And you can get unlimited for, by subscribing for only four pound ninety nine per yeah. month. He's trying to find something now, look. Yeah. <laughs> I, it'd, be, it'd be looking till midnight. I'm, like, uh, I'm determined, but <laughs> there is nothing to find. There's like There is. There's lots of exciting stories and lots of colour in there. There's no... Yeah. There's lots of entertainment. Just in, you could actually just buy that book and read it. You'd be happy. How? Yeah. How? <laughs> and you've got, because of the stories being so sort of stupid, a lot of them, you've got the inbuilt comedy anyway. Yes. You just oh. have to read a bit of the story. Yeah, you know, and, and some of them are so unbelievable. And people relate to them as well. They say, that's the sort of thing you would do, John. And, uh, yeah. you know, that's, yeah. <coughs> right, so guys, that brings us to the end of today's Alakazam Live. So I want to thank both Loki and Martin for joining us. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you very um, much. And Loki, thank you for sharing yeah, so you. much you, about the cruise ships. And also, once again, if anyone's interested in going on a cruise ship, how do they contact you? They can contact me via, we have an Instagram account, which is Ministry of Magic underscore agency, I believe. Okay, so you can find us on there. Also, we're at Ministry of Magic dot agency, which is our website. From there, there'll be a contact email which will invariably come to me. And um, yeah, so just send me any information about yourself. The more you, the more you send, the better. And um, yeah, see if there's something that can make you. Yeah, really Brilliant. Good. Loved it. Good we, stuff. We're going to hire Martin. I'm there. Just on the strength of this. <laughs> the job's yours, Martin. Oh, thank you. Get me arm bands <laughs> on. <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget, we are back in a few hours' time. We're back seven here o'clock for this bad boy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, seven p.m. GMT. So that's what four hours from now. So go grab yourself a cup of tea. 
um, in a few hours' time. Don't grab it now, it'll be cold by seven. But yeah. we will see you at uh, seven o'clock <laughs> this evening. So, see you then. See you then. Yeah. Bye. I won't be here. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it's an absolute pleasure to have you on. It was. It was, a, a, it was a pleasure to be to gate crash your live session. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to leave you with this little performance and uh, we will see you at seven. See you later. See you later. Yep. World's cutest card trick, check this out. Now we've got two decks of cards, really cute little cards, uh, a blue deck and a red deck. Which deck shall we target? What's the target deck? Blue. Blue, okay, that's the target deck. We'll come back to that after. Now we need a card to target, and because that's the target deck, we will get the card from this package here. Now, these are little mini cards. You may have seen these before. Let me grab them all out, make sure they're all there. Uh, now, these are bicycle cards, that you can see the back design on them. It's a little mini deck. They are so cute, check that out. Mm -hmm. Right, but uh, you are gonna choose any card, right? So I'm gonna start dealing the cards face down onto, or face up onto, what should I say? And whenever you feel the urge to stop, just say stop. Stop. Right, that was pretty quick. Do you want the ace? Do you want the four? Do you want to go a couple I want more? The ace. The ace of clubs, you sure? Yep. Okie dokie, right. There we go. So that is the target card. Now we need the target deck, and that is the blue deck, the one you chose. So keep that in shot the whole time as well. Here we go. Let me grab out the cards here, make sure they're all out. Perfect, none left in the box. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count down these cards and say the number out loud. I want you to remember the number that the Ace of Clubs falls at. Okay, okay. it's going to be very important. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Still haven't seen it, right? No. Nope. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Still haven't seen it? Nope. What should be the last one? Right. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Still haven't seen it? Nope. Hang on. That's the last card. 51. And it wasn't in there? No. Now, you chose any card you wanted from the red deck. You could have carried on, right? Yep. You're not going to believe this. That ace of clubs you chose from the red deck was the card I needed to complete <gasps> my blue deck. What? Check that out. Now I've got 52 cards. We could do another card trick. That's got me worth a like on a follow. And that is unbelievable. How cute is that?